Hey babes, welcome back to my channel and yeah, let's address the elephant in the room. I did not change my hair color. I did not went platinum blonde. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It doesn't look that convincing, does it? Today I want to talk about wigs and in particular like the cheap lace front wigs that I got. So I feel like all my knowledge that I kind of gathered over this past year is gonna be in this video. Since I've been wearing these for like a year, year and a half now, something like that. No, actually a year because I think I ordered my first lace front ones from Wish a year ago like almost exactly a year ago so yeah i have a year of experience but um if you have seen my tutorials and everything you know i don't wear it like on the daily i don't wear it every tutorial um i actually mostly just do it for very like special looks i used to stream a lot on twitch and then i wore these wigs but I don't do that anymore uh, streaming on Twitch because of my pain so I have a whole bunch of wigs and I want to motivate myself also to wear them more and create more looks with them keep in mind that I'm not gonna be talking about how I style this for wearing outside it's just how I style it right now for creative looks and cos paints that means like the cosplays where I paint the outfits because <laughs> I'm cheap I'm not claiming to be any professional, I'm not claiming to have years of experience, I'm not claiming this is gonna look so real, this is just kind of what I know. So I would suggest if you really want to know more about wig styling for daily use or like to really make it super super convincible, there are so many great channels that do these kind of transformations where you will see so many great tricks but I'm just, I'm just here at home and I'm just, I don't have the time nor the knowledge and skills to be doing like an amazing transformation where it just looks so real because you know after this video is over I'm just gonna take some pictures and then I'm gonna just get it off so if my small amount of knowledge interests you then please keep on watching I will show you well I already started and then I was like oh maybe I should film this um, but I will show you how I cut off the lace and how I kind of style it, what are some tricks that I use, what I like and what I look for and I will also show you the inside of this and then how I style the baby hairs and what a difference the makeup also makes. By the way, the tutorial for the makeup is coming or is already on my channel, better check out my videos. So yeah, if you're interested in all that, please keep on watching, consider subscribing and liking this video and yeah, let's get into it. So yeah, I already started as you can see. This wig has baby hair, so I clipped them back with these little clips. By the way, I'm sorry for my face. It doesn't look great. I know I didn't do my makeup yet. It's like, it all looks very weak. I'm feeling very tired today. I don't know what's that about. I'm feeling very tired for some days. So I already went around here. And you can see what because of the baby hairs, they're already a little bit over. The lace that I cut, it already looks kind of like it's going from my head. You gotta make sure that your own hair will not be cut. Like some people don't like to do this on their own head, I guess because they don't want to cut their own hair, <laughs> which is very understandable, but I just feel like I know better what I'm doing when I'm doing it on my head, if it makes any sense. So yeah, make sure that your own hairs are pushed back so you don't cut your own hair as well. For cutting the lace, I would say use like I'm, I use this one just because I'm lazy and I don't want to go all the way to the bathroom for this one. It's just like a little scissors you can use to cut your nails with and it like it's very small so you won't make a mistake easily. So yeah, like I said, you pin back the little hairs. If there are baby hairs, pin them back. Make sure your own hair underneath you stroke it backwards so it isn't in the way. I'm gonna put on my glasses to see in the viewfinder because otherwise... I might mess up. You straighten it like that. Just cut like this. And just don't cut your own hair and don't try to cut not cut the wig unless it's like too squiggly and yeah you just have to adjust it a little bit to your hairline. But I just you don't have to be like too precise and you can go in again if it's like not good enough. And right here it doesn't matter if you like cut a few hairs because my hair only starts here you can adapt it for example I could go a little bit more like that but I do feel like if you leave a little bit more 
um, wig over here. It will cover your hair more easily than if you cut too much off. You will not be able to cover your hair underneath and definitely when you have dark hair like mine, that is not, not ideal. I just go straight down here because it's hard to cut around the ear. There are gonna be hairs that are gonna fall off because you cut a little bit, if you cut a little bit more. Just be very gentle. And actually it's even best to just comb the wig with your hands. And I always look very, very bad in wigs as light as this with no makeup on because my skin has a bit of redness. So it just looks amplified by white and yellowish wigs. This wig is not like fully, fully white. Well, even if it was, it still would amplify the redness in my skin. It's not as long as my other wigs, which I like because it's like, even now I'm sweating, it's not that warm, but I'm just not feeling that great. I'm sweating and like, it's already long enough and it's like thinned out a bit. I warm this up a bit. Make sure you get a wig that is um, that you can style with heat a little bit and I'm just going to brush through this because I don't like the way that they put in here I'm gonna use a little bit of heat. I put it on the lowest setting It's all just about finding what your preferred style is and right now I'm by the way I'm not wearing any um, cap. I actually like to not wear a cap underneath certainly with light colors like this because then it kind of seems like you have a little bit darker roots and it just seems more natural, definitely someone like me with dark brows. I don't like to put this on a too high setting because you have to search for every wig that you buy. It will say in the description if it's heat resistant and how many degrees and everything. This is already less wavy. It does take some time just because I don't want to put it on a high setting and because I'm like softly brushing it. But you don't have to use a brush like this, you can also use a styling iron for on the hair. I'm not gonna fully flatten it, but just like a little bit. I feel like a little bit of wave does look more natural. It just depends on what kind of look you're going for. But as you can tell, I am being very soft with the wig. You can choose how you want to do this. If you just do it for a look or anything, you don't even have to cut this all around the ear. Because if you would wear it outside, you would, for example, glue it down here and you would cut this off. So this whole tab until here you feel like a hard part where the construction of the cap begins again. So that's how you would do it. I don't feel comfortable with doing that on my head. So what I would do is I don't look at my ears too much. I look at where my own hair ends. So that's here, right there. And then I'm gonna make a cut like this. Let's cut that little bit off and just stretch it and cut it. Make sure the wig is parted the way you want to wear it or it's like it's at least in the middle so you don't have like one part that's way longer on one ear than the other side because then if you're gonna cut it too short you're gonna just... it's not gonna be fun for you. So I cut the beginning so I know where to be. Then I take it off and I cut it like this actually, in a straight line more or less. So let me do the off camera and then I will show you. So don't mind my hair, it looks all crazy from under the wig, but I cut it and I just went where we did the cut, I was straight to where here the construction of the cap begins. So this is how it looks on the inside. You can also adapt it to be more tight, but I don't really need that. And it has three combs, two on the side and one on the top. So you don't need a cap. So I'm going to first do this part, hold it down, stretch it out, and then pull it back. If there's any little hairs, so I'm sweeping them underneath. This looks crazy right now, I know, but it is a process. Making sure that ear tabs are there. Like normally I don't have these kind of dents in there. So I'm just gonna try and make it look better. There you see that weird dent is out of there. So you can just choose how you wanna wear this. If you'd like this to cover the front part because you're maybe not good with lace, you can do that. I just feel like if you leave a little bit out here, it just looks more natural and the baby hairs also make it look more natural because no one's hair is 
perfect. This one is by Remington and it has like a heated um, hair comb brushing tool. So it brushes and styles at the same time, but you can also just use an iron. Just don't put it on the high setting. And if it just has one setting, just be very careful with it. Make sure that it's like heat uh, resistant. So yeah, here is the hair and the lace that I cut off. Don't be afraid to cut a little bit of the wig off to make it fit your head better, definitely around the ears. But as I showed you, like it doesn't have to be that the same on every side, like you can also just put it behind your ear on one side so you don't have to like do it on both sides. And if you want to keep the baby hairs in a certain place, you can um, also do that. Oh yeah, I pulled this more, for example, I pull this more to one side. This is something I do sometimes. And I put the tab like here, making sure that this hair stays here and then you can like put it behind your ear, like so. And it looks a bit convincing <laughs> and you can like use some hair glue or hair gel to glue this down and I don't know if you can tell but here in the front you can lay down the baby hairs that they cover the lace you need to like paste it down and then you can also for example make sure that these hairs cover the lace here people won't be able to tell. Apart from this part not being glued down, it does look like it is growing from my scalp. This certainly, if there are like baby hairs, you can also do them yourself, for example, which is like, just leave a little bit of shorter hairs out and style them in a way that they're like pressed down a little bit. And I slided it like just a little bit before my own hair begins, so that this front part doesn't have a lot of that darkness, but this part does. So I will glue these little hairs down and also glue this down. I'll show you how I do it. First of all, I use this underneath the edges of the lace. And for the baby hairs, you can also use this, but I sometimes also use like an extreme paste. This is like more greasy though, but it also, how can I put this? Like there's more room for error. If you do it wrong, like it's easier to fix in my opinion, but yeah. Today I'm going to use this one and then if needed I'm going to also use this one for the baby hairs. So first of all I'm just taking a little bit, like you can put the wig back as well but I'm just, I'm just preparing it to wear for a makeup look or maybe a tutorial and a look. So I'm just taking a little bit on my finger here and then Go over your own baby hairs here <laughs> and just put a layer down and we're not gonna press it down immediately we're gonna let it get tacky actually I don't really need to do it on this side but you know I might decide during the tutorial to sweep it to the other side also going to get it, let it get tacky in the meantime I'm going to style this back part <laughs> So I'm thinking it's tacky enough. So I added this hairband and this will press it down while it dries. And then it's time to add some makeup to look more decent. And I'm going to do the makeup before I do the little hairs, the little baby hairs. Okay, so I did my makeup and I'm just gonna um, tame a little bit of these hairs. But to be honest, this is actually also really very natural because most of the people don't have these little hairs stuck to their skin, if that makes any sense. And they are already styled down over the lace. Just gonna take a little bit on my finger. You can also use for this is a spoolie or a toothbrush. I'm just gonna get some of these hairs and get them to stick down. I honestly suck at this, but this is the best I can do and I feel like it looks a little bit neater than before. Um, yeah, but this is more or less what I do with my... Wow, there's a lot of it that comes out now. For the price, I cannot complain. 
put it behind your ear, press it down, make sure the hair is come over the lace and if you're taking pictures nobody will see it. It's like I said before, it's not to go walk outside and to be looked at at all angles because like it's not perfect but it's okay for me and it's okay for tutorials or cosplays cosplays <laughs> cos paints and the tutorial for this look is also coming to my channel if it's not already on my channel be sure to check out the videos that i have my tutorials if you like what you see it's actually with a very affordable palette so yeah definitely check it out i like this kind of style you see how the makeup also transformed the wig like if it's not your natural hair color and you're not wearing any makeup definitely if it's a big change it's gonna look weird um my best advice is to uh, like experiment a little bit with makeup um try to color coordinate a little bit i really like this uh, length of hair it's like just over my boobs and it's like thinned out which i like a lot because a lot of these wigs keep in mind that they are very straight and heavy and long um and it's just not easy to cut a style in it yourself if you want long wigs i would say try out one long wig and see how that feels also there's going to be a lot of friction the longer the wig is the more friction on your clothes and your skin it's not going to feel that nice but more than that it's gonna make the life expectancy of the wig less so i would choose shorter wigs um now that i know that like yeah i do have a lot of long wigs the thing is that sometimes these long wigs can be cheaper than the shorter wigs. You would think, oh, more hair, so it's like more money you have to pay, but it's not. I Sometimes I just get, because I want a certain color, I just get the cheapest one and sometimes it's like really long. And then I just have to live with it or cut it myself. But to be honest, I haven't cut one wig myself. I only style them, but maybe when I do, I will show you <laughs> if I would cut the wig. But I. I'm not a hairdresser so I feel like that's pretty hard and also um, it's all stretchy so depending on where it's on it's gonna look different so if you cut the hair on a mannequin's head and then put it on yourself it might stretch differently and not be as perfect so yeah I definitely would suggest if you get a wig get a like a wig that is already your desired length unless it don't matter like if it's just for a cost paint or a very short amount of time you just do what you want or if it's just for some selfies just have fun with it experiment with makeup it's nice to try out different makeup styles for different hairs hairs <laughs> for different hair colors because yeah i have dark hair so look like this would be really really dark with my normal hair color but with this and with the blue it's a whole vibe so yeah this is more or less what i do with my wigs um in the beginning i wouldn't even do the whole baby hair stuff um but this one came with baby hairs pre-made that's also something you can look at when you're on wish for example or aliexpress so yeah things i would look for are the length like this. I'm not sure what length it is. I will put it on the screen. You can look at the style on the mannequin's head on the website. Where do you buy it? AliExpress, Amazon, um, Wish. If you're first starting out in wigs, I would suggest getting like either a color you really like or something that is kind of your hair color but like a style you'd like. Maybe it's something longer or a sort of ombre or if you have a light hair color, I wouldn't go too dark. I wouldn't go for black at all. Even like every darker color will be more obvious. I'm lucky because my hair is dark brown. I could get like a colorful wig, for example, with a darker root. And it would be easy for me to blend in with my own hair by leaving out a little bit of my own hair and cutting all the lace off. Light wigs are, like you can see, they're very convincing, certainly on camera, like in real life, less than on camera of course but they're more convincing just because you got the light knots already if the wig is plastic you cannot bleach the knots so that is something to keep in mind i would always say always always check the reviews from people 
check out what they feel about the wig like and how it looks on them that will give you like a big indicator if this is like a wig that you might like if there are no reviews i think i bought one wig where there were no reviews and it's a blue one and it's a little bit more plasticky than my other ones so yeah i would definitely say check out the reviews to know what everybody thinks make sure that it's heat resistant if you feel like you might want to style a little bit if it's like very straight you could like bring some waves into it if it doesn't suit you so this is like really interesting to do certainly if you don't know yet what style fits you i have to say like you have to be very careful styling it though I've seen people using very hot water, like a steamer, um, that seems to be a very good method. And if you use tools like I did, like the brushing tool or um, the styling iron tool, um, yeah, I would just be very careful. Put it on the lowest setting and don't leave it on for too long. Just try to be quick about it. And of course, I would go for a lace front. It just looks more natural. I would suggest investing in a lace front wig, <laughs> even if it's your first wig, just because it's that more interesting, you know? And even like, if you're like, yeah, but I don't know if I'm gonna like long hair. If you spend like 10 euros or something on a wig that looks bad and doesn't have a convincing front it's kind of like throwing away money because if you're then like okay i kind of like the long hair but i'm not sure about it it might also just be because it looks plasticky because you cannot style it with heat and because it has a bad front it really makes that much more of a difference because i used to have like a wig like this with a bad like a non-lace front and i didn't like it i did use it still because i was like i spent 10 euros on it might as well use it but i wish i would have invested in this right away it's my the latest wig that i bought so that's why i could show you how i cut up the lace and i think it kind of accumulates my knowledge about wigs as well because it's heat resistant lace front a light color that's really nice because for example you can do nice halloween looks with it you can do nice christmas looks with it it's very easy to combine and you can experiment with totally different looks than you would normally wear. Also, be sure to take a look at the lace color. If you have light skin, get a light lace color because if it says a wig, wig for black woman, for example, um, it's gonna mean that the, the lace is dark. And sometimes it doesn't matter, for example, if you are going to use your own hair anyway to leave out and it's the same color, for example, a dark color. It doesn't matter if the lace is dark, um, but if you go for like a light color and this lace would be dark, it would be a weird sight and it would be very hard to um, make it more invisible. So yeah, I guess those are my advices when it comes to wigs and for example, a light wig like this in particular. <laughs> 